DeGeneres is loved by many and considering she's won more People's Choice Awards than anyone else ever is proof enough. When I think of Ellen, I think kind-hearted, hilarious, and fun, not to mention awesome talk show hosts. One thing you may not know about Ellen is that she's the ultimate home flipper and she's bought and resold well over a dozen million dollar mansions over the years. Right now she lives in a 27 million dollar mansion in Montecito and just purchased another. In this video we'll be looking at where Ellen currently calls home and more. Ellen DeGeneres is a comedian, TV host, actress, writer and producer and at the time of this recording she's 62 years old. She's been successfully hosting the Ellen DeGeneres show since 2003 and there has yet to be another show quite like it. Her sense of humor definitely makes things unique and hard to replicate by anyone else. Aside from writing four books, starting her own record company 1111 and a production company called A Very Good Production, she also started a lifestyle brand E.D. Ellen DeGeneres, which is made up of apparel, accessories, home, baby and pet items, and the brand even has its own separate Instagram. Ellen was one of the earlier celebrities to be okay with her coming out and served as an inspiration to many. She's been married to her longtime girlfriend Portia de Rossi since 2008. She also has done a lot of charity work and helps others almost any chance that she gets. Ellen's received numerous awards and recognition over the years, even the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2016 and a Golden Globe Carol Burnett Lifetime Achievement Award. Of course, with all of Ellen's success and sources of income, she's amassed quite the fortune. Currently, her net worth is at an estimated $490 million. Like I said, she also loves flipping houses, so she makes even more from her million dollar real estate. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I got some requests from you guys for this one in the comments and I was excited to look at her homes. So today we're seeing where Ellen DeGeneres lives, including the place she just bought, her $27 million main house and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post, you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Oprah and James Charles and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Good girl, Wally. Good girl. Just a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. First, we'll look at Ellen's main mansion, her and her wife Portia call home. This investment marked Ellen's fourth California home and her first real estate purchase in 2019. And I don't mean Ellen's fourth house in California ever, it's far from it. At the time, she already owned a $6.7 million ranch in Montecito, an $18.6 million contemporary home in Santa Barbara, and was also thought to have a fancy architectural house in the Truesdale Estates of Beverly Hills. Ellen's main mansion is located in Montecito as well, which is a very exclusive neighborhood near Santa Barbara in Southern California. Oprah also has a mega mansion here. Ellen and Portia paid a massive 27 million for this home and it's a Balinese style mansion set on 8.24 acres of land that was originally listed at 40 mil. When I say Balinese style, it truly feels like you've stepped into Bali or luxurious vacation spot. Except Ellen gets to call this place home every day. The main house spans 8,188 square feet of living space with 5 beds and 10 baths that follow all the same Bali luxe style vibe with features such as bamboo ceilings, black limestone, and oak flooring. The entry of the home has an entire glass wall that gives visitors a peek inside, and the great room has an open concept with a wall of glass doors that slide out onto the backyard patio. Also on the main floor in Ellen's home is the Eden Chef's kitchen with large center islands and a den with two full walls of bookshelves, perfect as a cozy room to relax in. Ellen and Porsche have plenty of living areas on the expansive main floor to relax in, like dining rooms, family rooms, and more. Not to mention there indoor outdoor style living spaces as well which makes sense for this vacation style mansion. The bedrooms are stunning and have high ceilings and glass sliding doors to let in natural light and connect you with the gorgeous views outside. The master suite has a massive walk-in closet and spacious ensuite bath with floating mirrors and walls of windows. Ellen and Portia also have a guest house on the property with two full bathrooms of its own, a full kitchen and more. There's also a detached office and private cabana with a full home gym and changing facilities. Grounds on Ellen's property are just as impressive as the mansion if not more. Outside the infinity pool is massive and 
unlike any residential one I've seen. It's super glamorous with a waterfall design and looks into the scenery all around, including views of the Pacific Ocean. Those mountains in the distance can actually make you feel as if you're in a different country. The lush landscaping has trees and plants resembling a tropical garden and creating more privacy in addition to the gates and secluded driveway in the house. The backyard veranda is complete with a fire pit and outdoor dining area. To make Ellen's property worth that $27 million, the deal also included an entirely undeveloped separate parcel of land, which would be ideal for buying an extension to the current property or a second house. Aside from Ellen's $27 million mansion in Montecito, as of January this year, sources says that she invested in yet another multi-million dollar house, which we'll take a look at. Between these two purchases, I'll also add that Ellen and Portia made an almost $1.4 million purchase of a two-bed, two-bath condo in Montecito's Upper Village, perhaps her family or staff, and an off-market purchase for a one-acre fixer-upper next door to the $27 million main mansion that cost them almost two mil. I told you the couple loves real estate. Once once again in Montecito, Ellen spent just above $3.6 million for a unique Tudor style residence. The couple's new home is secured behind gates, high hedges and trees, and I'm not quite sure what their plans are for the property yet. The land holds a pair of barn-like Tudor houses that date back to the mid-1700s and were originally built in England. The antique structures were carefully rebuilt on a 1.3 acre spread of land and contain a total of 3 beds, 2.5 baths and 5 fireplaces. The buildings are connected by a glassed-in space called an orangery where plants and fruit trees can be kept in colder months. Ellen and Portia's new house has wooden beam accents and brick accents throughout and a cozy vibe. Although it reflects the old world, it's fully up to date with modern appliances and fixings. Each of the two buildings include a large living room with fireplace. There's also a study, formal dining room, spacious high-end kitchen with hand-painted tile counters, and a breakfast room. French doors in the bigger living room show off the attached brick terrace outside that lets in plenty of sunlight. Outside there are tree shaded gardens and gorgeous landscaping all around. Other features of Ellen's old English house according to the listing are a home gym, a workshop, a full basement and a large three car garage with restroom for staff or whoever wants to use it. I know most times I tell you guys where the celebrity used to live prior to their current home but for Ellen she's bought way too many homes to keep up. Like I said her and her wife Portia just love flipping houses. So I'll end this Ellen house tour by giving a quick rundown of just some of the properties the couple bought and resold in recent years. Way back in 2004, Ellen bought a hidden woodsy house in Laurel Canyon called the Tree House for just over a mil. She gave it a modern zen makeover and sold it to a director a year later for almost double the price. Since then, plenty of celebs lived there including the late Heath Ledger and now Josh Hutcherson calls it home. In 2007, there was the Montecito Mansion bought for over 15 million and Ellen sold it to the former CEO of Google for 20 million. It then served as a location for Kim K and her ex Chris Humphrey's wedding in 2011. The following year in 2000, in 2008, Ellen and Portia bought one giant estate in Beverly Hills for $29 million and merged it with three neighboring homes, creating a compound. The couple spent five years here but then sold it to Ryan Seacrest and by this time it almost doubled in value. Ellen also used to live in a mansion owned by Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. In 2012, her and Portia spent $12 million on the home but only lived there for a year. It was gorgeous but there wasn't much for Ellen to fix up. Between these homes and her and Portia's current mega Bali style mansion in Montecito, there were a handful more. She also rented out a home to Nick Jonas in 2015 and Ellen and Portia made about 4 million selling their Santa Barbara ranch to the founder of Tinder in 2017. Ellen said about her love for home buying, We buy a house and we love it and we stay in it. Then we get a little bored because we like a different style or different aesthetic. And I love furniture and decorating so I find something else and we make money, why not move to another house? Altogether, Ellen has spent at least 145 million on flipping houses and has profited millions in return, so why not? So now we've seen where Ellen DeGeneres and wife Portia de Rossi call home, for the moment at least. This includes their $27 million Bali style mansion in Montecito and the new English Tudor style property they acquired earlier this year. Over the past 15 years, Ellen has really created a real estate empire. She loves buying and selling luxury California properties and wouldn't have it any other way. She said growing up in apartments as a kid, she always dreamed of living in a big home and is super passionate about houses. Ellen turns massive profits fixing them up and reselling them most of the time time at least, and sells them to many fellow celebrities and big shots in Hollywood. What did you guys think of Ellen's current homes? Did you love the $27 million mansion? Personally, I haven't seen anything like the couple's Bali style mansion. It really looks as if you're in an exotic country with that view and decoration. Not to mention, I love that infinity pool. 
Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from previous videos. On our Paris Hilton house tour, Mandy Jones J said, I love this video, thank you for putting it together. Paris is such an icon and classy, no BBL breast implant, she's stuck to her natural self for the most part. Really well put together video. You're welcome Mandy, I'm glad you liked it. I agree, super classy and confident with who she is. Glad she stayed that way. On our Post Malone house tour, BME Brooke E said, So so glad you covered his house tour. Post is one of my favorite artists right now and he's in my all time favorite top five. He's all around so wholesome, such a great guy. And finally, on our James Charles house tour, Tony Wright wrote, I am so happy to see James move up in life. He's worked extremely hard for what he has and he's killing it. I agree, Tony. I always like seeing any celebrities come back from being cancelled because the public can be so harsh. He really does work hard. Alright guys, that's all I could find on where Ellen DeGeneres calls home. I also never knew how much of a real estate tycoon she was, and it seems like she's a pro. Did you guys like her homes? Did you have a favorite? I like her current main mansion the best, and the outdoor setting is so beautiful. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!